Hi there, it's Tanya from Totty Treasures. Hello and welcome and welcome back to returning subscribers. Um, today I'm doing one of the Tina Maths makes and <clears throat> I'm using the lovely Bow Bunny paper. Um, I can't remember which one this is, it's 30 something. So I did 1 to 20 in Tim Holtz which is in its own playlist and I'm doing 21 to 40 in the bow bunny paper so this week's is a belly band and it's got a fold out bit and i'm going to add a pocket onto it as well so that's that's a bit of an add-on from tina's so i've picked um these are left from another week so I'm thinking these can be the actual belly bands and then the plainer ones can be the bit that flips out. So <clears throat> I'm thinking these are what I'm going to make the pocket with. I'm going to stick these onto the flip out thing and keep one side, I'm a bit shoved in because of the cutter, uh, one side open to then make that um, a pocket. I'm not sure how long I want these and I think the way that I'm going to work it out is haha <laughs> so if I put that here straightish <laughs> that's my new saying straightish so we know that is one card with <clears throat> you know a bit round it then we're going to fold it, so we're going to need a little bit there. And then we'll want ish the back of the card, but we won't want any here because it'll, you'll see in a minute, it'll fold into itself. But we need something to attach it, so we will probably want to go around here. So let's see. <laughs> So I'm thinking if I can kind of get a measurement and it works, then I can just keep with the same measurement. So we're going to try it at eight. Oh, and we've got the height. So let's try that. Or oh, let's see what the height was actually. Because if that works, we can just, just go with that. So four and a half. Where's my pencil? Oh, honestly, I had it out ready. <laughs> it's, it's just run off. Oh, it's here. So we want it four and a half high and eight that way. That's if, <clears throat> that's if those work. So let's do that. So that says four and a half. And this should then be our eight. Okay. So if we've got that on there, that's going to fold around like so. Sure. And let's see what that is. So shall we say three and a half? These cards what I'm using are three by four. If you was using um, journal cards the same. That's upside down so that's better. So if that one's on there, it's the wrong way. It would have to go that way. Okay. Right, I'm gonna get my little scoreboard. I think once I make one, it'll come it'll come apparent uh, what we're doing. Let me get my little scoreboard. I didn't get time to make um make a prototype up. Um and I've just flicked on to Tina's just to have another quick look because obviously I watched them when she did them um but that's been been a while so I think she's on about 80 something now so I'm just gonna open this up no I'm not I'm gonna score there 
Okay, so what did this say? This is eight across and we folded it at four, uh, three and a half. So we're going to have a three and a half, a three and a half, which is seven. And this is going to be one, which I don't think is right, is it? Yeah, it is ish. Five and eight. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny. Ha <laughs> ha. So our belly band needs to be three and a half. So <laughs> these long bits, I'm going to cut eight high for the height of a kind of normal um, page height. So that's at eight. And I said I'm going to do it at three and a half, didn't I? So let's do that. Yeah. So that would go round the back of there. Yeah, you could then fold that out and write on it. So what I actually think, I probably need to just bring that one in just a little bit more, just so it's got so when you stick it here, <clears throat> there's a little bit of a gap. Yeah. So that would make it. It's a bit hard to say the front panel is four and a half. So you'd score at one. Ah, that's where we're getting the odd minute. Let's do it backwards. Yeah, it's not precise. It's not precise. <laughs> it's not precise numbers. But I think if you're doing this and you've got something that you want to stick on the front, I would say that that's probably a good way um, how to do it. And that is a little bit wider than that, but that doesn't matter because it probably wants to be a little bit more out, so you've got a bit to... push over <laughs> yeah so that's going to be one um so <laughs> i forgot my measurements so the belly band wants to be three and a half so i think that's going to be too small i can save that for something what's coming up in a in another one so let's cut the next belly band at eight and did I say three and a half? I did, didn't I? Here's me. Oh, yes, I'll, I'll write it down so I, I've got a clue what I'm doing. Um, and, yeah, still, still clueless. Right, so that's another belly band. Um, I've not actually got enough pattern paper out, so let's um, pick another couple of pattern papers. I thought those strips was going to going to do it. So not got not got a lot a lot left. So I want a floral one. So I'm gonna go for this one. Another floral, let's go that way. That's the, that's the same, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'm going to keep the red and do something separate because I just don't think it goes with the rest of the colours. What is that? Hmm. Probably, I use that bit because that's nice. Oh, that one's different. It's the same, but different. It's got a different colored background. So <laughs> that's those, and everything that I cut off 
there's um, another project in a couple of weeks which um, needs small pieces. So I think I'm just going to have enough of the bow bunny to get to number 40 because I know there's a couple, <coughs> two that's going to use like little bits of scrap and I think there's another material one. So um, <coughs> I don't think I have too much to do after that. Right, let's see what eight looks like if I cut this down at, at eight from the top down. Okay, and then I'll do it the other way to see which is the best way to, to cut it. I think that way. So that's our eight high and we're going to do it three and a half. I remembered. Let's have a look it looks. Oh, it looks beautiful, whichever way. Beautiful paper this is. Would have made a lovely journal cover. So that's that one. Let's check that we're still doing it right. <coughs> Get all these bits cut together. I shall put um clip them together. So I'll just take the top off. I am keeping these because I'm gonna be making some um clusters with them probably in the botanical series that that I'm doing later on so let's have a look what this looks like if I cut it that way that's not too bad let's have a look that way yeah prefer it this way so that's that and then we want it three and a half so if I did it three and a half that way, or three and a half this way, not a lot of difference. So I'll go this way. So that's our four belly bands, and they don't have to be just belly bands. They can obviously be side tucks. So that at the side of your page. Um, I think that's the way that, that I would use them. So that's just four belly bands. Right, that's a scrap. So we want this to be four and a half high and eight length. So let's have a look at the eight length first. That's another scrap and then four and a half. Okay, that's his other piece. And then we'll do the pale pink. So we want eight. Don't mind. Eight okay, that's eight and four and a half. Let me get away, get away, <laughs> let me get away and um, put the trimmer away to give me some elbow room. So yeah, we're going to have lots of uh, scraps because uh, one that's coming up is mini um, tags. Um, so I'm going to do lots of mini tags and I think these ones with florals on, I won't have to even decorate it, I'll just decorate the plain ones. So that's all the scraps. I just put a clip on it and put it over there with my bow bunny uh, pile. So I've picked out four cards, which I thought went nice with that. So let's pop that up there. Right, are we organised? I think so. So let's have a look at this. So we're actually scoring it at. Is that three quarters or two quarters? My eyes are terrible. It's going to be three quarters, isn't it? One quarter. Why can't I see? Hmm. 
yeah I think we're going to do it in eight it's one two three four five so we're going to score it at seven seven eights I think that's going to be a good one seven eights so that's this bit that's going to top round okay and then we are no that's me if that's gonna work out yeah yeah that's fine and then we are gonna score at four and one two three oh it's like in the middle let's do it that way we're gonna turn the paper over and we're gonna it's still <laughs> why is it not right so If that's the front, I like to say, I want that one coming out more. Okay, I've got it, I've got it. So we're going to go to the next score mark, okay? So that's f four and a half. So we've just used two totally different measurements there. Um... You can tell I know nothing about measuring and numbers <laughs> and maths. Um, yeah, it's just more a feeling, isn't it? But obviously, <clears throat> I know some of you will want to know the exact um, size. So, <clears throat> that's that. I don't know why that's sticking up. Okay. So, scoring it at seven eighths and scoring it at four and a half. Yeah. So, that's that. Right. Why is that now crooked? I must be off with me lying somewhere. Definitely in place, <clears throat> unless it's just the way that I've cut the paper. Who knows? It's fine on that side. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so that's that. Might as well do them all, haven't we? So let me keep that there for, for reference. Right, so we want seven eighths and four and a half okay so on this one I want it on the other side So, how will I do that with this small board? I'll just, I'll just do this. So, <clears throat> seven eighths and four and a half. Will that be the right way? Yes. <laughs> Gosh. So, that's that. So that's going to flip the other way. Where's my other piece? Oh my goodness me. I think I've put it away in the scraps. Definitely only got four of them. So right. Oh, don't tell me I didn't even cut one. don't think I even cut one. Is that it? No. That's it, isn't it? I'm not, not even cut it. So, cut it at four and a half. I'll just get the little one. The little one out. So, four and a half. Let's just check. Yep. What a silly Billy. Good job I didn't put it away, put it away. 
Right, pop that over there. So again, is this going to matter which way it is? I don't think so. So seven eighths and four and a half. And that's all the scoring done. So that was a pretty easy way to work it out. <laughs> Right, so I had paired them up that I think that's more pinky, so we'll use that one for that one. So I'm going to use the, the tea dye, which the lovely Jeanette sent me. Thank you very much. And say so I've started using it on Bay Bunny now, not just um, Edith Thornton. And say so if you into more paler papers um yeah i think the tea dye is really nice so i'm just going to go all around the edges you're not going to see that bit so I'll just go around that around here i will pause when i ink, ink the rest and this seam and I think I think I ought to stencil inside um, or at least put some light light stamping so do all the inners that's if you ink if you don't then Obviously, you can skip this part and you'll be way ahead. So, that's that. Shall I stamp or stencil? Stamp or stencil. That's, it's got flowers on it, hasn't it? Let's stencil and use, use the floral one. I think my pink ink had totally uh, dried up, so pink's not an option. So I might do it. In fact, let's just do it with a tea dye. Let me get my <coughs> mat out. Are we upside down? Yeah, we're upside down. So we'll pop that there. Let's make sure we. So that's gonna go that way because that's that's the right way okay so hopefully no of course it doesn't fit <laughs> why would it I can't just do a <laughs> do a line through it right the only trouble is I think all these have had dark ink on um I could do with a couple more what I just used for, for lighter ink. Let's just try and load it, load it up and then it might, might cover over it. Yeah, that's fine. Not a very big brush, but I know that my two bigger brushes have definitely got green and brown on. In fact, I, I could do with getting myself a full set, putting some like masking tape on the handle and just having a, a g for green, a b for brown and a p for pastels or a l for light. <laughs> um, so yeah, really I could do with four brushes I think that would do it the only thing oh see there is some green left on that um the only thing is those sets they've got about 20 of them in haven't they and uh some of them I mean this is an old set of my daughter's what I don't think she even ever used it um she said they weren't very good um 
but yeah there was a lot of brushes in it that i mean i don't know what you'd do with them for makeup because i haven't got a clue um what all these brushes are but um yeah i mean that one is very handy but there were some even smaller than that and because obviously they are for makeup and some like tiny little round ones and which is not that useful for um the world of crafting but i do think i have seen a set what's what is now for crafting because obviously they've They've cottoned on to crafters are using them. And I think they're all the same size. If I think, I think there's five in the set. And I think they like this kind of, um, which is perfect, which is obviously why they've done it. Um, but I bet you if I tried to find them, I wouldn't be able to find them. So that's that one. Um, so you can still write on there. It's not, it's not dark. So you leave that there. We want that and that is done let's get this stuck on before i forget which ways which way is what the white way <laughs> right so i think i'm gonna have that a little bit higher so we can see um that lovely flower this is one what i'd obviously use for something else and use the the putty pockets stains by uh, Patricia Varimonte but I just didn't have time today to well I've not thought about it to paint them and then um, to dry them I think if I got another pad it, this is the first pad I've really had what's um, mm -hmm. white on the back the die cuts with the view ones um, white at the back but I tend to use that for matting um, things so it's never um, it's never bothered me um, but I think next time if I get another pad what's white I think I'm going to just paint them all before I even start using them so, so they're done ready or coffee dye them so that's going to be the flip I love that so you're not going to want to see me inking all these, are you? Which I don't blame you. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to pause. I'm going to ink all the way around, all the way around. And I'm going to get them stenciled inside. And then that will give us a bit more time for decorating. So, I shall see you in a tick. Okay, I'm back. I've inked around them all and stenciled them all. So, that's those done. Um, <coughs> I'll just start adding these so i think i'm going to put the light pink on this one let's get the glue out let's think where we're going to have it so we could have it towards the bottom so you see the blues or at the top could have it right at the top where you see the pink oh could have it well i like it like that okay I've just got my art glitter glue. It's going to glue on that little flap that we made. Like so. I'll just make sure it folds nicely. So that's that one and the next one so let's have a look where's best to to have this I think there yep was wiggly glue and then that's that bit and this one part of my mother yeah so I've just done that one upside down. But 
happened? Oh, which one's upside down? This one. I'm taking it off because I always seem to do everything the, the same side. Um, so <laughs> I keep forcing myself to, to do the opposite side. Um, it, it's just a natural thing, isn't it? it must be, I'm guessing it's to do with being left-handed, right-handed. So that's that one. Okay. And then this one, which goes this way. I'll have that there so we can see that nice. Put it there. I think that's going to want trimming a little bit. Let's just <coughs> trim that, that off. It is a Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodar video after all. <laughs> Got the got the big scissors out, which I need practice with. Right, and that's gonna go there. Okay. Yep. Make sure that's in. So that's that's the mole stuck down. Get rid of that bit of paper, put my pin back in, like so, and I'll put these big trappers away. So I think I'm going to round um, the corners, and I think let's have a look what the 10 looks like. So I do like the 10, yeah. I'll do all of them. I will have to just touch the corners up with ink. Like so. If you had a decorative punch that would perhaps be be nice across the top or the bottom or both i've got one but i just can't come to, to grips with it never seem to be able to <coughs> to join the pattern up properly <laughs> getting a pickle and it hurts your hand but like you've really got to um stomp stomp down on it right let's just touch the corners up might as well do them all together and why I've got the ink out, I think I will ink around the cards. So I'm going to be gluing the cards down on three sides. I'm going to keep um, one of the edges open to use as a little pocket. That's those. Let's just cut that bit down. Quite tough, these are. I have back them on a uh, cereal boxes um i've been doing that in my trash tuesday on my weekly vlog i've not had much trash just lately i think that's a good thing though because it means we're eating more fresh things or not getting rid of so much stuff so no trash is is good but yeah it's it's been good having a weekly spot where if i've got some I can get it all cut up because um, right at the beginning, you know, I was saving all these cereal boxes and 
and I never used them, just used to reach for the brand new card um, <coughs> because, you know, they wasn't cut out ready to use. So um, I thought if they was all cut out ready to use, then I would use them. And I have been using them that to keep, keep running out. So that's all those inked. I'm not sure why my case fell off when I lifted it up. I probably didn't clip them in. So, let's have a look. So we've got two darker ones. So I don't know if to put the darker ones <coughs> on the lighter ones. Or, oh, I do love that. That's very pretty. See, I feel like that one should go on there because that's on there. That's on there. I do like that. So it's either that or that. I don't think that's <coughs> the right card. Um, so look. What I've got left. I'll say you did get two sheets of. Um, well, no, I think altogether you got four sheets. I think you got two sheets of um, journal cards and then two sheets of light tags. Maybe. Could have a white. No. I was going to say maybe that one is <laughs> exactly the same. Oh, that's the, the matching one. Yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. Right, let's put that in there. So, <laughs> I don't know if um, I want to put something behind it. Probably not, because if it's going to be a pocket, I think it'll just get get in the way. So if this is on the edge of the page and it flips out that way, probably want my opening that side. So I'm going to hold the side that I don't want glue in, so I don't forget. And I should just go around the sides. Trying to keep ew, a steady hand. Oof. I have to so concentrate on it. That's it. And try and centre that up. I think that's okay. That's that one. Which way does that open? That way. So that would go on that side of the page. So I'll have the opening that way. It's a bit wiggly that. So let's try and. Okay, that's that one, that opens that way, so I'll keep that side open. <laughs> that, was, that was quite a good one, that. Yeah, I really do have to concentrate. I don't think that's straight. Maybe the card's not 
100% straight. No, I don't think it is. It bows in a little bit there. So, yeah, that's fine. So, that is a that one. And this one goes that way. So, I <coughs> love the opening that way. walking the plank <laughs> yep. yep right let's get that straight okay now I'm not sure how to decorate these because to me they're not decorated enough <laughs> you know what i'm like uh, but yeah i mean to me they they absolutely beautiful um but yeah so what i did get out first is um a roll of washi stamps and i just thought i would pop just one in here just to give it a little bit of um interest so you could you know, use a real stamp or a little collage or something. So I'll just pop that there. So that's that one. Colour of that there. Oh, that's quite a good one. Oh, oh Tanya. I really like that one. Do you think I could rip it and join it together? Yeah, I've ripped a few of these. I just think I'm not. I'm too heavy handed, maybe. So let's just join that on. That's it. Right, let's forget that we've done that because I'll <laughs> never remember. Um. What's next? Oh, that one's a nice one. But I think I'm going to... Oh, no, I'm not going to put it on this one. No, I'm not. I'm putting it on this one. Not like it makes the slightest bit of difference. But... So that's a that one. And this one. Really handy, these are. Saves rummaging three stamps, having to stick them down. So that's that one. I think they're doing my mushroom ones as well. I oh, to get a mushroom one. Right, I've got some little butterflies. Um, if you remember, Alison from uh, Oh dear, Crafty Alley Creates uh, sent me that book by Minte. I've had quite a few people asking me about it. So I'll just show you um, the cover again. Well, that blue one's nice. Uh, so it's from Minte Papers, and this one's called a Wing Book, and it's a seven by eight, and it's got lots of well, everything that's got wings, well, apart from the nests and stuff. <laughs> um, so it's got yeah, birds and insects, and lots of uh, butterflies. So, and the nice thing is, it's the back of the paper. <laughs> papers this wood uh, design so you've got a nice white background um, at the back and obviously you're not cutting into anything else so it's a really nice little uh, book so that's Minte Papers and they're just www.mintepapers.com okay so that is that um, so let's have a look at each one and decide which butterfly we think now this has got two butterflies on already. Should we have another? Could I put one on top of there or there? Yeah, so I think I'm going to match. Would you say that's kind of... I think it's that rather than blue. So I'm going to cut that one out. Um, I'll try my little tiny scissors. So now we're going. So I'll just get it out first. Okay, that's 
someone that we're going to use for that one. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, so we've got blues, we've got pinks. I think it would probably be nice to bring some, some more blue in it. So, what do we want the darker blue? No, I think not blue. Yeah. So, we'll have that one for that one. And let's have a look at this one. So, this is all pinks and we've got some oranges. So, I think pink's too much. About the green one. I think that green one would look nice. Well, there's one. I'll take this one here. Yep. Stop. Keep going into the wings. So that's that one. And look at this one. Oh, lots of reds and things. Perhaps a white one. I'll put some white and green. I'm going to go for this one, which, yeah, I'd have thought that would have been too much, but I like the look of that. So, I've got the bows. I'll put that back in my drawer with my book. So, let's start cutting this out. I probably will cut it a um, little ten eyes off because I'm rubbish at cutting them <laughs> to be quite honest <laughs> I was making a right mess of them um, I keep saying I'm going to buy um, one of those fine liners but um, but I think it would be best in like a grey colour so I can just write, uh, you know, draw in two little lines because uh, they're not really black. I mean, they might be on some of them, but I think on a lot of them they're more a grey colour. Um, let's come on, let's have a go. Uh, but see, you have to go so close to the line, it's, it's very difficult. But because this book is decent card, it's not like cutting them out of a book what's, you know, just thin paper. It is actually easier to cut them off, uh, to cut, cut, cut them out. Oh, come on, I'm, I'm close here. I'm close to cutting them out. Oh. So yeah, I think I stand a better chance with this book. I think I've done it. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. So <laughs> when you do look at the book at first, I thought, oh my goodness, all these little bits to cut out. But um, yeah, they're actually really simple to cut out. Um, it's funny how some things, you know, I've bought digital kits of, butterflies and you know just one page things and and some of the butterflies are really hard to cut out and then others are really easy it must be just the ones that have used like less less lines if that makes sense that's what i'm assuming assuming it is these are quite clean clean cut Right, <laughs> don't get cocky now and think, think, well, I've done one, I can, I'm brilliant at it. Because <laughs> that's when it all, all goes wrong, as soon as you feel confident about something. Right, come on. So these scissors are the, the little Tim Holtz. Um, I don't know if they're called tiny snips or something. If they're not called that, that's what they need to be called. Um, and I think there are, is actual, I don't know, are they haberdashery scissors? I don't know. I'm pretending I know things about scissors. Um, but yeah, there was, tiny, I'm sure they're tiny snips. Um, and they're very handy for 
fussy cutting. If I was doing a big stack of them, I wouldn't fussy cut with these because they can become a bit awkward after time. But just for for doing, you know, a couple, it's it's fine. And they're very nice and sharp. And they do get right into things. But I find after a while, <coughs> these not hurt my hand, but I, I can feel the fatigue in my hand. So, yeah, I wouldn't do a big bunch. I use is seven inch ones for big bunches. But maybe I should start off and do it with these and then go to them. So like I say, you do get a really close finish on these. Ooh, have you seen <laughs> have you seen the mountain eyes <laughs> mm. oh, I can't even see uh, I've just chopped part of it like there's a little curl thing at the top of it which yeah I'm not even attempting <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to chop it off because I obviously snipped it off in the last this one's been a little bit more difficult. I think it's probably because it's tiny, tiny. I don't think I've got my right glasses on either. No, I haven't. <coughs> I've got the ones from in the bedroom. Because obviously I got, got up, tidied downstairs, made a cuppa. I came up, watched um, a Tina video. Not the must mate one. What did I watch today? Oh! Um, I'm obviously filming this in front, but um, yeah, she just started off a beginner's junk journal uh, series. And I watched it because, well, I, I watch all of Tina's videos. Um, and I, I just thought it was really, really informative. Um, and I find it interesting, even though, you know, the things, what she was saying, I, I obviously new but yeah she she just does think i don't know i just really like her and her talk and stuff um so yeah i think it's going to be a nice little series for for people just beginning um it started today which like i say i'm about six weeks in front with no no i don't know probably four weeks in front with filming but I think she was then from the Saturday running it every day for seven or eight days, I think. But um, yeah, I think she said in one of them she's going to go out and do a bit of shopping um, and video it. Where I don't know where she's going because um, nowhere's open because of lockdown. So yeah, I wonder where she would have gone, to be honest. Right, so that's those cut out. What kind of time are we on? Oh, 53. Doesn't time, doesn't time fly? Right, let's hope that I can remember which butterfly goes where. Then I would have liked to add just a little bit of lace, really. But I don't know where to put it. Mm -hmm. Have I chopped one off? might have chopped off, chopped one off. I didn't realise I'd done that. Or did it fall off as I was inking? You probably saw it. But it was going, oh, I was going to call it an antler. <laughs> Your antlers fell off. Your, um, yeah, that, that. Antennae. Is it an antennae? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. So this one was for this one wasn't it yeah because i did them in reverse order so let's get that popped yeah there's the other one and the other ones in the ink pot so let's see where to put this i'm gonna just glue it in the middle um cause i like the idea of that so i'm just gonna go down its body a little bit down the feelers and just come out just a little just a little and press that down like so obviously when it's in your book 
page it all get flattened but <laughs> i do think they look so pretty like that as if it's just flown flown in right we've got this one so i think we said this one oh i like that right up there right in the action going towards the flowers i don't think i've seen a butterfly so far yet but we've got no flowers out at this point uh, crocuses and snowdrops have finished and uh, my christmas rose is still in flower um but it's i think it's on its last last legs um I like it. And um, all the greeneries come up for the bluebells. We did have quite a sunny s spell and then it went quite cold and raining again. So I think it stopped, stopped everything because um, most of the trees, the rowan tree um, <coughs> and I think the silver birch. I've, not been up the top of the garden um i know the rowan tree for definite has got um buds on it hmm. i don't like putting them that way i don't know i do feel that that need no i don't like it it's gonna have to be flying flying out which way does that open up it's fine Ah, oh, that's I love that. <laughs> right, what what can we do? I've got I've got what, what we've got in here. I don't think I've got a lot of any of any use to be honest. I don't know if to just just maybe put some lace across the bottom and then maybe a little pearl um it is a tina project so i do feel like it does need it does need a bit of something let's um pop that there so i should be able to cut four of these shouldn't i and them fit obviously i can trim trim them up so that and we'll just do this one um and then i'd finish the rest off camera because i'm going to do them the the same <coughs> it it does save time if you do the same thing a couple of times and um i think four is a nice a nice kind of number um it's it's not too many and sometimes I make six or eight of the same thing, but yeah, four is a nice number. So that's that. Let's trim that off. Careful not to. Should I? Next time I'll put it on the opposite side so I can cut it the side what isn't flapping. Have I got it all? Yeah. So that's that. Let's um just get some so we could either these are some lovely trims what Ali Cockney Craft has sent me. So we could have something like that. It's pretty. I don't know if we need something up here just to um do some little lace. I'm wondering if to <clears throat> put one of them inside one of those. Oh yes. <laughs> It's so funny, you know, decorating things and it's it's not really my style. But obviously I do like pretty things. Um, 
Say I love watching Tina. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit strange for me. So yeah, I really like that. Don't know if I'll do that to all of them. Let's just have a quick look. I'm going to put the lace um, at the bottom of all of them. It's a bit, a bit much. So maybe... I don't know, I, do, I know I've not got enough of those two and I don't think that one needs it but I'm going to cut another for another one. Perhaps let's have a look. Let's have a look at that one. Yes, I like that one. So I'll do the same on that one. Right. I'm just gonna have some lace there. See these I've got a back on, I don't know. I don't know if these scissors will cut it. this stick out too much. I don't know if you can take this. Trouble is I do want that centre. Oh no, I've lost it. <laughs> is that it? So maybe. Just the right colours these are. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Does it want two or does it want three? I think it wants that one. I've got a little paper flower there. I think they are the same colour, aren't they? Is that darker? That's a darker blue. So I'm going to go like that with that one. Um, let's have a look at the, the last one. Hmm. Oh no. Drop my buttons into the bin. Just shows how you can <coughs> lose things. I think all those things, what we can't find, we've probably lost them in the bin. That's going to be too, too chunky. I don't think there's really anything else in, in there. Hmm. Maybe. I'll just have some pearls uh, across the lace. I could put some pearls on there. They're a little bit chunky. Um, yeah, I'll put some pearls at the top there. So I'll cut those off. So that's it. Pop that there. Right, let's get that first one done and then we'll call it. Call it a day. So that's those. That's that one. Oh, that belongs to that. Oh, don't lose the centre. So there, there. Glue. So I said I was going to put that there, didn't I? I'm surprised the glue hasn't um, dried up. So that opens that way, so let's just move it across a little bit. So that's that. I think this will glue this. If it doesn't, I can always put the three and one on after. I'm going to pop that on there. So that's, that's that one. Yeah, I really like those. So we've got a little pocket in there. Um, I haven't got anything that will fit in and then it folds like so. 
and obviously you could have a little pocket at the bottom and then your tag would be there that would be quite nice yeah that would be nice and then that folds out and plus you've got your so yeah quite quite versatile little thing really if you build build on it so that's me thank you very much for joining me oh i do like that i'm going to do it <laughs> i'm going to do it right let's just run a little bit of glue down here i'll have to get some more pearls out. i'll probably end up putting pearls on the bottoms of them but yeah that tub is kind of um all the like pretty things that um that i've got for decorating i only have bare bare minimum because um like i say i don't do it do it very often probably need three a month for that so let's just pretend that it's stuck like that straight <laughs> ish so da -da! there we go and like i say i think a pocket and then having the tag underneath and if you add a quite a long tag that you add your tassel coming out there i think that would look really nice so thank you so much for joining me sorry it's a long one but i don't know where time goes <laughs> i'll see you very soon bye for now